have the Magpul CTR Olive Drab Green, the Magpul Myad Grip. This is MOE, okay, with the enhanced trigger guard, Olive Drab Green. We have the Magpul MOE CTR foregrip with the rails and the XTM rail covers because, guys, I believe wholeheartedly you should only run a tack light, a red dot, and if you have to have a peck box for your AEG because you're wired to the front, that's fine. Uh, if you can wire it to the back and run a crane stock with the battery back there, it's even better. It balances out your weight. But this is going to be a high-speed, low-drag, CQB, get-in-your-rear-end rifle. And this equipment is going in Tuesday on my brand-new KWA LM4 PTR, which will arrive Tuesday. Okay, now in black, we have the Magpul CTR, the Myad Grip, which is MOE, by the way. And the MOE CTR foregrip with the rails, XTM rail covers once again. This down here in tactical chocolate and olive drab. These aren't available in these colors. I just shot them myself because I want to be different. This set is going on my brand new version 4 WEM4 GBBR, which will be here on Tuesday. Okay. We'll set that up here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Once again, Magpul CTR stock in black. Myad Magpul MOE handguard in black. You don't see a foregrip because this is going on my brand new King Arms M4 uh, gas blowback, which will be here on Tuesday. And the foregrip on this gun is the Element 500 uh, Tack Light handguard. Really super cool. Okay, these three rifles are going to be used for fast punch, hard CQB, lightweight, get in there and get it done guns. Okay, that's what these are for. Um, the lighter and the more mobile I can be with it, the better off I'm going to be. I love M4s, just like Delta One loves his AKs. All right, I just love M4s. I, I've always have. I'm never going to stop. And I wanted to have one of just about every GBBR I could possibly get. Also coming in on Tuesday is the WE version 3 black carbine length PDW. That will be here on Tuesday. So let's cover this. We got the KWA LM4 PTR Tuesday. We got the WE M4 version 4 open bolt Tuesday. We got the King Arms M4 with the E500 tactical light foregrip Tuesday. We got the WE PDW in on Tuesday. But that's not it, kitties. Oh, no. Also on Tuesday will be the KWA MP7. Why the MP7? Because it's an old gun, Jedi. Well, I'll tell you. Because I think the KP9, uh, no matter how loud it is, no matter how cool it shoots, no matter how fast it is, I think it's freaking ugly. And I don't like that big, huge space gun barrel on the front of it. And supposedly there's a barrel suppress, uh, a suppressor out there that you can buy for it, but good luck finding it. I've seen it on some of the forums. It looks makes it look better, but I just don't like it. So we're going to take that older gun, we're going to put my spin on it, and then we're going to put on a brand new silencer. Hopefully we'll be here on Tuesday, which is QD with a steel um, flash hider for that MP7. So we're going to make it longer, sweeter, sexier, roll with it. And I just had to do it. I couldn't help myself. I had to do it. On Tuesday, an HFC Mac 11. Okay. But a uh, lot of people compare the HFC to the KSC to the KWA in the Mac 11. Super fast. Dump some mag. Two seconds. Sweet. It's coming in. It's silenced. I think it comes in a little silver gun case. A lot of y'all might not like HFC. I have to tell you, a friend of mine, Chris Taylor, he's still subscribed to me. Chris told me he was out on the field one time and lost a magazine out of an HFC M9. And then a year later, he's walking along in the woods and feels something hard under his foot. He reaches down, picks it up, shakes the leaves and gunk off of it. There it is, rusted to crap. There's his mag. Turns it around, pushes the gas release valve, still full of gas. After a year, 
laying in the mud getting squirrel crap, rabbit crap, bear crap, you name it, whatever's out there, that HFC magazine still held its gas. And I'm telling you guys, any gun that can hold its gas like that and it's mag for a year in that kind of environment is <laughs> it's a thumbs up for me. So I don't know about you guys, but I kind of dig it. Um, so let's recap. Tuesday, KWA LM4PTR, the WE M4 version 4 open bolt, the King Arms, GBBR, the PDW carbine length in black, WE, and then we got the KWA MP7 and the HFC Mac 11, all coming in on Tuesday, all with their respective magazines, all will get their own MOE furniture and Magpul, we're going to dress them up. Now, here's what I plan on doing. I'm at six minutes now, almost seven. Pyro wants me to get this in in under 10, so we're going to rock. We're going to take this nasty table that you see right here, and this is in my workshop. It's nasty for a reason because it gets used. Um, we're going to take this outside. We're going to set up targets, and we're going to put these M4s to the test side by side. No more going from one channel to the next channel to the next channel, seeing different views, points of view from different people. The same day, the same video, side by side, these guns are going to earn their keep. We're going to see if the KWA is worth the hype that everybody talks about. We're going to see if the, the uh, uh, King Arms is what everybody says it is. From what I understand, it is from Take Game Magazine. It is one of the top, most beautiful exterior jobs ever done on an M4 gas blowback rifle that the internals, they did a little bit different than, than the everybody cloning the GMP. And then we're going to see if the WE lives up to the WEs I've owned before. Basically, guys, we're going to test them on FPS, rate of fire, accuracy, how far out they shoot, gas magazine efficiency. We're going to test it all along the board, and then we'll let you guys make up your mind. Either way, we're going to put this baby to bed like maybe Wednesday or Thursday once I get everything done and I get everything lined up and I got to put all these internals in the GMP. Uh, it might not make the show, but oh well. Now, I have been accused of being a liar. <laughs> I've been accused of being the most poor man on the planet. I can't afford to pay my bills um, and everything else. Let me tell you something. You guys have treated me well by buying from Airsoft RX, buying from Menace when we had Menace Airsoft, buying from me on YouTube, and here I had a heart attack three weeks ago. What was I going to do with that money? What was I going to do with it? Just let it sit there? I can't take it with me? Let my kids spend it? Hell no. So I decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy every gas blowback M4 I want, buy them from myself so I don't have to pay an arm and a leg for them, but daggone it, I'm going to spend some money on me. So this is $1,800 worth of guns and magazines coming in here on Tuesday. And what you see here is $260 some odd dollars worth of stuff. And that's not including uh, Padawan, my youngest son's optic from AIMSport, the special operations version. Um, that All this stuff here, and this is all bought out of my money. And guess what? I'm still making my house payment, my car payment. I've got a 2012 car sitting out there. It's almost paid for now. I, I, you know, I think I'm okay.